So let's jump into understanding our own values and beliefs. So we can identify values as, you know, what are values and beliefs? A values, an example would be um, self-direction. You value freedom and creativity. So for a life goal for you would be working towards a goal to have a life filled of more freedom when it comes to traveling or running a business. So you want a life where you're in control and you can still be as creative as you want. So that is a value in your life and that's how you decipher the way that you're going to set a standard for yourself. A belief, these can be identified as fundamental, uh, inflexible and generalized beliefs that people hold about themselves, the world and um, the future. So for instance, I believe the world is a beautiful place. I believe the people around me are wonderful and inspiring and I believe the future holds a lot for me. Um, our beliefs and values are what make people successful, achieve their goals and take them to a level that only they can get to with the right mindset. And it's super important to have the right values and belief system because if you don't have that, you're not going to get where you want to get to. And you're going to continue to go down the wrong path with the wrong values and beliefs. A lot of people don't actually know what their values and beliefs are or how to create them. So this is a game changer for you today. Uh, in 1992, Dr. Swartz presented 10 motivational distinct types of values as listed below. These values have been researched in many countries and they've been found to be universal across cultural um, applications. So all around the world, these are the fundamental uh, values that have always come back up and circulated to these top 10. Uh, that's not saying that you can't have your own values and create your own. You certainly can, but this is these are the main ones that have been uh, brought up a lot. So, your basic values, you've got self-direction, freedom, creativity, stimulation, exciting new life, daring new life, always an adventure, uh, hedonism, pleasure, self-indulgence, achievement, ambitious, successful, power, so wealth, authority, security, so uh, social order, family, security, cleanliness, conformity, which is politeness, self-direction, uh, self-discipline, respect, tradition, respect for traditions, modest, humble, um, benevolence, uh, loyal, responsible, helpful, and forgiving, universalism, so equality, wisdom, world of peace, social justice, uh, protecting the environment. These lists, like I said, are just the top 10. You can have your own values and create your own because it is about you and you are personalizing your own values, beliefs to work in a life that is suited to you. And these are the new standards you're setting yourself for life to make a real positive change. We have our sources of beliefs here, so where they come from. So evidence-based, logical, rational belief based on evidence that proves causation. So if it's a very sunny day, then you're gonna sell more ice cream. So it's a knock-on effect. Um, tradition, so family, culture, traditions, authority normally developed from a parent or a mentor or a teacher or some kind of authority in your life. Um, association, which could be beliefs formed through people or groups we associate with. We have relevance, beliefs that are formed through divine intervention with a hunch or ickling. Um, so very spiritual, I guess, in a sense. Um, you just have a feeling you know that's the right thing to do or that's what you believe in. You just have that sensation. Um, everyone's had deja vu. Through deja vu, they're like, oh, they've, they've experienced this before. And then you just do the same thing you did last time. You feel it, you know you've done it. And that's the same kind of thing. So we are going on to enabling beliefs and self-limiting beliefs. The biggest thing is people have a lot of uh, limiting beliefs and they don't actually know that they do. Um, so let's go over enabling beliefs first. So to keep it simplified, I am worthy, I am hardworking, I am confident. You can use affirmations to rewire the way that you think and feel to create more enabling beliefs versus limiting beliefs. Because obviously we know in our con unconscious mind that we have so many thought processes. I think the study was there's about 17,000 uh, thoughts we have a day. Now, if you've got 
limiting uh, beliefs and you're constantly putting yourself down unconsciously and what happens after that and then your thought process goes into a negative mindset negative actions or body language or speech and then so on so if we're reaffirming the way that we think and feel to be more positive and enabling us to be in a better think better thoughts speak speak better words better body language and then we're going to create better actions which path do you think is going to take you down the right road to see the wizard we both know that it's, you know, it's gonna be enabling beliefs, positive, reaffirm, taking you down the right road versus your limited beliefs, uh, which, you know, you may have out of that, those 17,000, you may have like five or 10,000 that are negative. So what chance do you have of getting somewhere if you're constantly putting yourself down? You're just reaffirming where that belief is. So we main aim is to change that as well. Um, so our limiting beliefs, I'm boring, I'm weak, I'm stupid. These basic beliefs will destroy you or they will help progress you to reaching your goals or living a lifestyle that you want to live or be the person that you want to be. Our next is, uh, mine is my recommended beliefs that I actually use. Um, so this helps me get unstuck and continue to progress. So... I have self-reliance, which is adopting the mentality to not look for someone to save you. If you're drowning, you need to learn how to swim because if you're in the ocean, no one's coming. Um, I really connect with that because that's been my life. Um, yes, I've had people around me, um, but there's been a lot of times where I haven't and I've had to get myself out of my own hole when I had severe anxiety and severe depression. Uh, so that's really the biggest thing I think you need to understand is you need to own your life. You need to be independent. Next is growth. So value the notion of getting, um, or falling in love with the process of constantly learning, get addicted to constant self growth because the more you learn, the more you develop yourself, the further you're going to go, not only towards your achieving goals, but also in life. You know, like there's something they say, the more, you, the, uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. And it's true because, you know, if you know so much, you can solve problems. You can um, identify issues. You can do things that other people can't do. You're not in the crowd of sheep anymore. You're the shepherd. Um, so just keep that in mind. It, it just has a huge role in human potential. And it can help change you so much, just continuing to grow. Now, we also have resilience. So, AKA, toughen the fuck up. Uh, this is huge. Like, you know, without resilience, every obstacle you face will stop you in your tracks. So, imagine every challenge you have in front of you that has an opportunity. And you stop at every challenge. You never make it past that challenge. So, it's kind of like going towards a a wall, a brick wall, and then not climbing over it and expecting the brick wall to just crumble. You're not getting anywhere until you jump over that brick wall. Jump over that brick wall, there's an opportunity for you. A life-changing opportunity for you to really live a happier life because one, you're achieving goals, and two, you don't know where it's gonna take you. Um, so keeping that in mind, you have to treat pain as a reminder that it's time to push through because there is something valuable on the other side. Now, anti-fragility, this means the more you are challenged, the better you get once you value encountering uh, obstacles and learning from them instead of fearing them. So, you know, this is gonna help you become ca more capable of becoming the best that you need to be. So if we, you know, we start to learn and we go, all right, cool, well, I've seen this challenge before, I can overcome that, imagine, there's a thousand challenges just like that one, but you can overcome that really easily now. How much further ahead are you going to be compared to other people? You know, like, you need to keep that in mind. Get used to failing, get used to identifying challenges, get used to seeing the challenges and not freaking out and running away. Face them, don't fear them, overcome it, open that opportunity. So they are the, you know, my personal um, kind of like belief.
beliefs I think you should really have in your life.